In this video, we have a question from Olive asking about how negative exponents will affect a number in scientific notation. And the question is interesting because if we deal with a number like 3.12 times 10 to the negative fifth, the question is what does this equal? Does it equal um, 312? Right? And then one, two, three, four zeros. Or does it equal something different? Maybe like um, two, one, three, and then four zeros. And I, I think her specific question was, um, it was 3.21 times 10 to the negative third, or something like that. And, and the question is, well, does that equal, in one hand, it could say 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 2, 1, or, right? 0.00123. So notice here there's a reversing because we know that negative exponents reverse the process in scientific notation. That's what this negative exponent refers to. This is not, right, a negative number. What this is referring to, of course, is division. And the question is, when we, we reverse this whole process, do we also reverse the three digits that were given? So instead of 312, does it become 213? Instead of 3, 2, 1, does it become 1, 2, 3? Well, the answer in both cases is that no, you do not reverse the digits. That's my, my short answer. So this is incorrect, and this is incorrect. And our correct answers are right here, right? This is correct, and so is this one. So the digits themselves will not be reversed. And let's just talk about why. Because, well, first of all, when you're dividing by 10, all you're moving is the decimal point. So originally we had 3.12, and we divided by 10 five times. That's what this five up here in the exponent means. So when you divide by 10 once, you move your decimal over once. Do this twice, it moves twice, and again, and again, and again, and we move a total of five times. A quick way to think about the result is that you have four zeros and one digit, because the decimal will have moved five places. So there should be one less zero here than there are in terms of the absolute value of this exponent. So the, the absolute value of this exponent, the distance from zero is five, so there should automatically be four zeros. Just like here, this is three, right? That's division by ten three times. Notice there are two zeros because our decimal started here and then moved one, two, three places to the left. Now why does this make sense? Why are we not reversing? our process. Well, division by 10 is, is, is clean in many ways. All it moves, all it changes is the decimal. That's my short response, right? So, so the, the digits here will never be affected when you're dividing by 10. And the same is true for multiplying by 10. That's why base 10 is such a wonderful choice. It doesn't change the composition of the number in any way. So, I mean, dividing by other numbers will change the way your number looks. For example, if I have 12 and I divide it by 2, well, that equals a different number, 6. If I take 12 and I divide it by 4, that equals 3. If I take 12 and, and divide it by 10, what do I get? Well, I get 1.2, right? The decimal moved from after the 2 over the left once to get 1.2. If I take 12 and I divide it by 10 squared, which is like 12 divided by 100, divided by two tens, I get 0.12. So notice the structure of the digits never actually alters. And that's the whole designation of our, of our, of our number system. That's our place value and our, our base 10 system. Because our system is based on the number 10, this whole process should never change the order of digits. And I encourage you to look at other number bases uh, and consider what might be efficient ways of dividing for those. There's a nice connection here. Right, between the base you have and what you're dividing by. That's how we design number systems. All right, hope this helped.